Hello friends, uh, coming to you from the beautiful, if somewhat shut down, south side of Lexington. This is indeed a strange time that we're in, and I hear when I talk to friends on the phone, the probably most frequent question I hear is, well, how are, how are you doing uh, during this odd shutdown period? Well, I, I have to say for us, it's been not that bad. I know for some people, uh, yeah, it's a drag, and for some people it's tragic, but we've been doing pretty good. I spend a lot of time here in this room that you see. This is sometimes a writing room, sometimes a recording room, and sometimes a little photography studio. And as I say, I spend a lot of time in here. Uh, Carmen sometimes uses the phrase, live in there. But as you can see, uh, I spend a lot of time with uh, these carvings that Manny Adkins has done because we're working on another book. And the ones you see are just some of the ones from Ring Around the Moon. About 40% uh, of those are down at the Lexington Public Library, locked in, waiting for the reopening that hopefully will come soon. But the spending this much time with these figures I'm not going to say that I sometimes hear them talk to me, but I'm not going to say that I don't either. I do uh, uh, begin to regard them almost like real people. And two of the ones that uh, have been very meaningful in all of our Mommy Goose books are Harley and Mildred. And they're here with me today. This is Harley Creech, and this is... Mildred, when they first met, Mildred Mays. And to describe Harley, Harley is a person who's very tidy. You could even say that he's fastidious. You could say that he's extremely fastidious. And uh, this is how he appears <clears throat> in Rhymes from the Mountains. If I can get him there. You see him? Look how neatly he's folded those quilts, and he's got a yardstick in his hand. And Mommy Goose says, Harley Creech was over neat. He swept the house morning and night. He ironed his socks and starched his sheets and used a yardstick to get the quilts right. South down the road lived Mildred Mays, and in that direction Harley would gaze. Her hair combed perfect, her shoes shine slick. But Harley hesitated, suspecting a trick. Who knew what horrors lay in store? Rumple pillows, crumbs on the floor? At last, his love made him risk the ordeal, and Harley invited her for a meal. He scrubbed the house once, then again. With trembling hand, he welcomed her in. Then Harley froze and held his breath as Mildred Mays passed the test. She took one look and said, oh, This place is a mess. Well, that's how they met initially. And Mildred shared Harley's tendencies. And she not only shared them, she exceeded them in some cases. But they stayed together. And then Ring Around the Moon they make another appearance. If I can find them here. And in, in this book, we learn that Harley, uh, among other activities, he's a writer. And uh, in his writing, uh, he not only uh, writes, he writes poetry. And he doesn't write free verse, he writes rhyme verse. And even in rhyme verse, there's usually some variation, but not with Harley. Every line is da dump, da dump, da dump, da dump. An English teacher would call that iambic tet tet tetrameter. But in this little piece that Harley wrote, he says, I like to write the things I write, all neat, all straight, all crisp, all clear. I take the pen and hold it tight and make each mark, each word with care. And if a tiny smudge slips in, Miss Mildred makes me start again. 
Well, <clears throat> that's that's the way uh, Harley does it. Uh, it's true to character. And in the book we're working on now, which is, has a working title of The Last of Mama Goose, there's a long story rhyme about Harley and Mildred. But they're older now. They've been married more than 20 years, and they have gray in their hair, and Harley's got developed a little stomach that he didn't have in the early days, but they've got their house organized in a very precise way. The house clicked along like a wind-up machine till Mildred went to visit her sick Aunt Jean. And then Harley does okay for a day or so, but then things start to go downhill in a hurry, and then they go downhill really fast. But we'll have to wait till later to get to that one. But uh, Harley also makes a, an appearance in the song that goes with the Ring Around the Moon book, as does Blind Sam Young. Now, like Harley, Sam is a writer, but in my opinion, Sam is a better writer. In the first book, Rhymes from the Mountains, Mommy Goose says, Blind Sam Young had a silver tongue and charged for his time. He'd say, sad or funny for a piece of your money and two cents extra for a rhyme. Well, in the new book, Sam has a dream, and it's a wonderful dream for him because in this dream, he can see his vision has been restored. It's night, and it's winter, and it's snowing, but instead of snowing snow, it's snowing words, and blind Sam thinks this is wonderful because not only can he see them, but he can touch the words as they fall. He touches them with his hands. Now, Harley witnesses this scene, and though it's cool, it is a little messy, so uh, he's not totally comfortable with it. I'll strap on my ortho musical device, and I'll just do a little bit of this Ring Around the Moon song, uh, in which uh, Harley and Sam uh, make an appearance. <laughs> Sam Young lives in a sea of black Thinks about the thing he lacks But when the words come out to play Then Sam Young will sail away There's the ring, the words are now Now they're falling from the sky Here comes kindly and there goes please Harley's picking them up down on his knees Something's coming soon We just heard it snowing words Ring around the moon Tumbling toward the trees Words for you and me Take your share, they're all still there Ring around the moon Everywhere they're in the air takes a lot of breath but that's just a little bit of the song and so for uh, for Harley and Mildred I'll just say stay safe stay motivated and be neat but not too neat bye bye <laughs>